So now here we have uh, Trudy, 17 month old GSD. She's uh, nearly finished her residential stay. Sit, good girl. Sit, nearly finished her residential stay. So we're going to just uh, finish off with a little bit of loose lead heel work and some sits, weights, down weights, things like that, long distance recall. And um, yeah, make sure she's ready for the client for when she gets here. Heel. So we'll work on the loose lead heel work first. And uh, as we progress through the session, then we'll bring out more distractions, i.e. dogs, and the dogs will be off lead. And she must still give me nice loose lead heel work. So we've just turned up. It's quite early this morning. The sun is shining. It's beautiful today. Um, so she's very excited to get off lead and go and play with the dogs. But even still, she's giving me nice loose lead heel work. Come on, here we go. Which is nice, especially first thing in the morning. So we'll do this a couple of times around just to settle her brain in, get her brain thinking. We don't want to bring her out and just let her off lead and run around. That's the worst thing you can do. Um, so it's training first. It's been 15, 20 minutes training. It'll really set your dog up for the session. Whereas if you just let them straight out, run around, you're undoing everything you're trying to achieve. So the next time now we're going to go around, we'll, uh, we'll put her into a, a sit position. And then we'll leave her there and hopefully she'll stay there until we come back. Always very difficult doing this exercise first thing in the morning because they're so excitable and lots of energy. So let's see how she goes. Sit. 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 So far, so good. And like I said, it's not easy, easy for the first session to do this. Sit. So she's starting to really understand what we want in our training. Sit. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. So we'll do that again, but next time we'll do it in the down position. Heel. So the next time now we'll do the same thing again, except we'll do it now in the down position. Sit. Down. 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 So now walking on our down position as we leave the dog and come back and again like I said earlier this is quite difficult for you when you come out initially with the dog because the dog is super excited to, to get out of lead and run around and play especially in an area that it's used to playing so this is really nice down heel good girl Good girl, Trudy. So now, if we come out here, we're going to do a, a longer distance one. So if you come here, I will put her in the sit here. Sit, 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 sit. Now, when we're practicing this, we go all the way out, but we do not call the dog on the first exercise because we don't want the dog to preempt moving out of the position and coming straight to the handler. The dog must think the handler is going to go back to the dog at all times. Sit. 
this is very good. This is excellent. Sit. Sit. At this time we'll do a recall. And she must come straight to me and sit in front of me. Here! Yeah. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Sit! Yes! Good girl! Yes! Good girl! What'd you go? What'd you go? Good girl! Good! Very good! So now we'll put her into the sit. 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 So now here we go all the way out. But we will not recall her on the first exercise. We don't want the dog to preempt moving out of the sit or the down position that you leave them in and then come to the handler. The dog must always think the handler is going back to the dog. This is really nice. This is the distraction now in the background there as well. Somebody's moving pallets. But she's still concentrating on me, which is good. Sit. In fact, now we'll tell her to go down. Down, down, down. And now this time, we'll make it a little bit more difficult. We'll go back out. Again, we're not going to recall her from her down. We want the dog to think that we're always going to come back to her and reward her when we come back to her. This is how I used to train my competition dogs, my ITP dogs, uh, for their long down. And then you work on the speed then after that. Down. Now this time I'll do a recall. But again, I'll go down, I'll turn around through four paces, I'll walk towards it, and then I'll do a recall. Here! Come on! Come on! Good girl! Sit! Oh, perfect. Look at that. Yes! Good girl, Judy! And now we'll go back into our heel work. But she can have the, the reward she's just won for doing so good. Yeah, she's been doing absolutely amazing now, so she has. It's been a lot of work. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to let out some of the dogs as a distraction. And she must still stay in heel work, must still give me my heel work. But she can um, then have some downtime, some free time afterwards. So. So I'll let these ones out as well. Now this is going to be really difficult for her because there's no sit. Not a lot of dogs off lead. Heel. So this is lovely. This is very difficult for any dog to do. This is difficult for a fully trained dog to do. Little dog, let alone a dog I've had for a few weeks.
I'm going to click the lead. She's going to stay there until I give her the free command. And then I'll go free. Now she can go off and play. Look at that. Awesome. Good girl, Trudy. Where you go, lady? Good. Hey, Helis. <laughs> oh, she's a good boy. This is Helis. Helis is also, also with me for residential training. You can see this dog loves me already. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Good boy. Now we're going to do the same with him. We're going to do, uh... wait a minute, Helis. I used to protect him. Now he protects me. Here? Yes, good dogs, good dogs. Go, go, off you go. Hey, Nika, off you go. Come on, guys, go for a walk up here. Come on, free regular. Go.
Come. I turn to ask the question. So anxious. My thoughts. Your lips were soft like winter. In your passion, I was lost. Question. Nika, here. Hell of a walk, eh? You guys are tired. Now we'll get them back and leave because we're going up to the main road up here. But I'm just going to walk on a long down with my own dog first. So I want to get out of the way. Mika! Clutch! Trudy, sit. Call him here. Good. So I'll just record him from distraction to give you a corner. 
Come on. Come on, Trudy. Come on. Trudy, here. Come on, Trudy. Here. Good girl. Super. Good girl. Oh, it's trained tens of thousands of dogs and the one thing I found of all when you're training your recall is if you're in sight and you're training a young dog and there's other distractions they'll take the distractions is more fun but if they can't see you and can hear you they will come looking for you and that's how you start building the foundation for your recalls playing hide and seek having fun making making the game fun making the more importantly making the exercise fun so have fun with your dogs. this game with your partner so your partner and hold the dog you go off you go and hide then you call the dog your partner let the dog go and you let the dog find you every now and again you might help them a little bit but not much you want the dog to search and look for you that's the whole idea of the game taking the rise off me so it just goes to show you when you play games like this especially when you go out and about with them to the parks and forests and things like that they won't go too far because they think you're gonna jump in somewhere and hide in them so they'll keep an eye on you more they'll watch for you more 